Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Prank Don. Let's continue exploring the residential district as I minimize the game to make sure that I started recording. Yep, perfect. One of these days I'll get a second monitor so I don't have to worry about that. Interrupting the gameplay for... Really? Jerk. <laughs> Okay, a uh, couple of things. One, should kill both of those small, oh no, didn't quite do it. There we go. What if I hit both of them with sweep? Oh, I did. Cool. Sadly, I can't hit him because I'm dazed. That's okay. Kill this guy. And approach that guy. Continue to approach this guy. <sighs> All right. Now I'll just use the ethereal torch on this guy. I approach my spear. I should kill him before he kills me. But we'll see. All right, great success. Good job, everybody. Sadly, I do not have a good way to heal. This door wasn't open last time, was it? Let's quick save. I'm pretty sure all the doors in this area were shut. Well, I haven't been down that way, have I? No. Not this. Not since I've come in here again, so maybe it was open last time I just didn't notice. Alright, whose personal computer is this? B. Helting. Access INM. Contacts 89. Archive. So, S. Parkinson. So, Parkinson and Helting. I took a stroll through the forest. It is perfect. Exactly what I need. Thank you. When will you be available for me to stop by and discuss our projects? I'd like to order the construction of an appropriate enclosure as soon as possible. I'll be free in about an hour. I'll contact you. Very well. Then Manu. Uh, so Manu, then, halt, then Helting, not Halting. Uh, hey, Bianca, I got your message. Hello. Uh, yes, I wanted to talk to you about the forest. Sure. My team and I wanted to expand the forest westward. Parkinson is planning an enclosure for his Psymorph, so I'm going to need a bit of a bit more space to plant some of the other species we've got engineered. Uh, what? Why do you need me for? It's a G5 cavern. Oh yeah, I forgot. Haven't been to that part of DC in five months. Okay, I'll survey the cavern for you tomorrow. Excellent. Can you give me some soil samples while you're at it? I'd go alone, but better let the expert make sure everything is safe first. I'll take samples of everything. It's what I do. The southwestern section is what worries me the most, however. I reckon. So, how's this project of yours coming along? I'd say too well. I'm always expecting something bad to happen. But all in all, I'm very pleased with the progress we've made. The team is dedicated, and luckily for us, since we're all specialized in mycology, no one is likely to get pulled for mutagen work, as it happens to other teams. Ditto here. 
Yeah, it is difficult to avoid distractions around here, but at least I can count on the whole team. Sure. Alright, you'll hear from me tomorrow once I've completed the survey. Okay, and thank you very much. Us geologists are not as useless as some say. Ha ha ha, far from it, concerning the world we live in. But listen to Dyson, he's just... Dyson. He sure is. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, uh, G. Basilica, and then, yeah, Basilica, then Helting. Hey, hey, are you going to the party tonight? Hello, yes. Why? Just asking. There's going to be a lot of people. People need to unwind. Times are stressful. Will you be coming? Yep, both Dyson and I. Good. Okay, just wanted to check that. Hope I didn't interrupt you in your work. No, actually I was just done washing my hair. Currently I'm waiting for Sally to pick up to pick up some source... Source man... What? Source... <laughs> source samples. Spore samples I wanted tested. McKinley? Is she coming to the party? Not sure. I'll ask her when she stops by. No, it is my duty to contact her. Off I go. Ha, huh, good luck since she's in the forest. You there? You ask her. Ha ha, I will. And then McKinley. McKinley then Helting. Are you there? Yeah, what took you- what took- Oh my goodness, what took you so long? I'll tell you in person, but I'm here now. Are the spores ready for testing? Yes, I've been waiting for you to pick them up. I'll be over in a minute. Okay. And then McKinley again. McKinley and then Helting. Uh, you have to come over. What for? What did you discover? Come over, girl, and you'll see for yourself. And then Abdul. So Helting, then Abdul. Wasi, is everything okay? Everything is fine. Everything. I heard you talking to yourself. I was thinking out loud. Is everything okay at TL? Just fine. I heard you had an incident there. I don't know who spreads that rumor. Rumor. But it wasn't our lab. It was the mutagen, it was the mutagen tanks. It was in the mutagen tanks. I see. If you need anything, let me know. And get some rest. Yeah. Yes. I wonder if he got replaced by his doppelganger. That'd be interesting. Alright. Looks like the reading isn't going to slow down this episode. NF fifty five twenty five hundred or F two five zero zero. A compact old world seven point six two millimeter assault rifle with high burst precision and rate of fire. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna drop these. I'm never gonna use those. And I was told that I only need one of these. So let's actually drop them outside the ventilation shaft. Just so if I do end up needing them, uh, they'll be easy to access. I mean, really, I don't need the uh, that assault rifle, but I do like my unique items. All right, and this area is clear. I mean, at least everybody gets their own bathroom. That's impressive for a uh, underground structure like this. And I am saving what I suspect is Abdul's room for last. Alright, 
more regents. Gonna grab all of those. The biohazard suit. Old diploma and Maria Hope's key card. Dr. Maria Hope, clearance level 9, mutagen tanks B. Okay. Welcome, Maria Hope. Alright, yeah, it's offline. 45 contacts, archive, uh, Austin. Austin and then Hope. I talked to Colonel Salik. More AF troops are already on their way to mutagen tanks B. Have you talked to Matthew or Grav Gra Gavriluk about this yet? No. We have everything under control. A minor incident is nothing to worry about. You said that the first time, and the second time. You worry too much, Maria. We're making a future here. Crucible is where we're creating new, intelligent species. There's bound to be a bump or two along the, that road. They're living beings, and they don't like where they are. But we'll fix that soon enough. Like whoever needed our subject's consent. Things have changed, especially after you allowed your adopted mutant to shove its nose into everything we do. Watch your words, Maria. Let me tell you one thing, my dear. You're not in a position to make me angry, so watch it. I don't care for how many years we've worked together. Otis will be wherever the hell I want him to be. If he's in the lab, it's because I demand so. If he's cleaning my toilet, it's because I demand so. He is mine. He is the best I've ever made. He is what I want the rest to be like. He is involved in the incidents of Frederick. Listen to me. Get rid of him. You trust him too much. Uh, same old story, Maria. Same old story. You tear all our work to shreds because of a few issues. Otis will remain at my, as my right-hand man, and that is final, whether you like it or not. And then Dioglash? Dioglash and then Hope. Uh, the new group is ready for another exposure at the Crucible. Humans. Our team has prepared the compounds you requested, but I've been informed that our supply of regions is running low. At this rate, we have about a month of testing unless we receive a new supply. Well, thanks for informing me, Dr. Dioglash. Uh, I will talk to Austin about the region supply. One more thing I wanted to tell you is that Otis was at the control room today again. I'll talk to Austin about that as well. Thank you for the information. Uh, should I do anything about it? No, do not do anything. I'll be there in an hour or two. Yes, ma'am. Then Austin. And, well, Hope, then Austin. I was just informed that Otis was sent to Tartarus, but not as a prisoner. What he is doing there is none of your concern, Maria. Frankly, I grew tired of your nagging. Otis is none of your concern. Well, that is that, then. Whatever happens next, it's all on you. Interesting. So his little assistant that he created... Seems to have its own agenda. Wasi Abdul's key card, Deep Caverns. Dr. Wasi Abdul, clearance level 7, Tithona's lab. Personal laptop. Welcome, W. Abdul. 92 contacts. Archive of Dyson and Manu, and that's it. Uh, so, just Dyson. Wasi, are you there? Then Manu. So, Manu and then Abdul. Uh, Wasi, I'm in my room with Dyson. We knocked at your door, but you didn't respond. Are you there? It's been half an hour. We're calling someone to open the door. If they come here, they will separate us, Wasi. I can't take this anymore. I am tired and I can barely see, and you're hurting me. They will hurt you more. I just want this to end. Peel the skin from your chest now. There's nothing left on your back. Ugh. I can't. You have to. You are not you anymore, don't you remember? Your body is a prison made of flesh. Get rid of it. I can't. You must. I can't do it. Why can't I just kill myself? Why can't I just kill myself? I can't take it anymore. Don't cry. Pain is but a small price for your new existence. Your freedom. I am tired. I haven't slept. You will never sleep again. You don't need to. You're getting rid of it all. Why can't I kill myself? We don't want that. We don't want your existence to end. You need to remove your flesh slowly. Peel off all the outer layers. What is left is you in your purest form. I can't. It is too late. Just set yourself free, Wasi. Okay. 
And I see the blood right there. I don't see a body. But his room is in disarray compared to the rest of them. I don't see stairs that lead down anywhere, so I think this is it for the uh, residential area. Because we. Um, I don't think there's any names whose computers we haven't checked out, if that makes sense. Alright, so we can go back. I do want to go back to the uh, power station and reroute power to other areas, because we just got key cards to areas at Tithonus Labs and. Um, the mutagen tanks, which implies that we're going to need power there in order to access those doors. Also, if I understand the echoing soliloquy uh, feat that we got, it should take longer for the um, those creatures to come and attack me. Also, I can go and equip my stuff again. We're not dealing with uh, coral spiders anymore, at least for now. Plus, all the doors are open now anyway, so I don't have to maintain power there, which is nice. Oh wait, I'm probably turning the power here now, right? Well, I'll probably have to apply power here. I reset the... AI, why is there still robots here? At least hostile robots. Alright, so let's get rid of that and get rid of that. So these don't have percentages, so allocate power to mutagen tanks B. No three is offline, unable to allocate power. Allocate power to Tartarus Maximum Security Prison. Nodes 11 or 8 are offline, unable to allocate power. Allocate power to South Elevator. Node 19 is offline, unable to allocate power. And allocate power to Talos Outpost. Node 2 is offline, unable to allocate power. Alright, let's go ahead and do... Hollow Earth Main Research Complex and... Amusion um, Tanks A. Because I can have power applied to both of those now. I wonder if there's anything we have to activate to get power to those other areas. Also, you can notice uh, it looks like an earthquake caused this, because I assume they wouldn't park a jeep that close to a uh, to a hole in the ground. So it looks like this area's been ravaged by earthquakes. Tectonic activity. That sounds spooked me. I was like, what is what is that noise? I thought I was under attack, but no, it was just a just a gaunt. A non-hostile gaunt. Alright, so where do I need to go? Don't need this north thing here anymore. Don't need power there anymore. So north there. East. Don't need power there either. That's where the elevator's at. I could go check that out. Well, I couldn't get power to go there, but 
I'll keep the elevator there for now. And if I go this way, yeah, we haven't explored this area yet, so that's new. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Alright, so I got the Creeping Dread. A black eye. It's a black eye with no pupil. It's about the size of a human eye. One point of experience. So it is, yeah, it is ticking up a lot slower than it was previously. Alright, whatever. Let's reset it real quick just to be safe. I don't think I could get to that filing cabinet right there. I was trying really hard, but it wasn't working. I'll try it one more time. Why would you loop around that way? Is it really faster? Alright, no. It is empty wall here. Son of a gun. Nope, don't do that. Of course. That was worthwhile. Alright, let's dip out real quick while I recharge all my gear. Quick save and back into it. Seems like we're almost done with this area. Regenerative mixture. Mutagen sequence database access terminal. Atomic sequence database. Connecting to HECDB. Error connection failed. Access local database. Okay. The screen flashes a few times, after which the console shuts down. Notes. Uh, using the mutagen scanner. Mutagen scanning is performed in three steps. Place the mutagen container into the scanning chamber. Make sure that the chamber lid is firmly closed. On the mutagen scanner console, select scan and wait for the process to complete. After the mutagen has been scanned, its atomic sequence will be displayed on the screen. You should remove the mutagen container after each scanning. Points of precaution. The mutagen chamber will only accept mutagens which come firmly sealed in standard HZH or HXH containers. 
Do not pour mutagen directly into the chamber. Do not place any other foreign objects into the chamber. Make sure that the scanning chamber lid is firmly closed before initiating the scanning process. If the lid is not firmly closed or opens due to a malfunction during the scanning process, evacuate the room immediately. Biohazard sanitation personnel will be dispatched automatically in such instances. Do not shake or in any way move the scanning chamber while the scanning process is taking place. By default, all scan sequences, as well as time and date stamps, will be automatically added to both the local and centralized database. The database can be accessed from this terminal. Make sure that the terminal is properly connected to IN, or else the atomic sequences will not be added into the database. After the scanning is complete, make sure not to accidentally leave the container inside the scanning chamber. Okay. Organic processor. The coat of paint covering this machine has mostly peeled, but you can still make out the label which reads Organic Processor. A sizable transparent container on the left side can be opened, and is presumably where organic matter can be placed. The two large screens beside the machine do not seem to be operational. Place the mysocardia inside the transparent container. I was trying to think if it's mycocardia or mysocardia. It should be mysocardia. Now you carefully place a slimy heart-shaped organ inside the container. A small button beneath it lights up, well enabled with initiate processing. You press it to hear the sound of the machine awakening. The organ is quickly turned into a sludge and sucked inside the machine. A monitor to your left flashes for an instant, then turns off. The monitor seems to be turning on and off once every two seconds, making the screen difficult to read. Regardless, it seems to be displaying the list of all organic compounds extracted from the processed organ. After staring at the strobing monitor for some time, you identify that the machine offers you an option to turn the resulting sludge into biocide. Make biocide. You press the appropriate key a few times before it finally accepts your input. You hear some clanging coming from the machine before the faulty monitor displays further information and options. It appears that the machine can automatically fill several different types of dispensing containers, as well as grenade casings with the biocide you've made. The machine seems to be all out of types of casings, other than grenade ones. Make biocide grenades. The available number of grenade casings is 9. However, since the only functional key seems to be 5, you're left with no other options but to make 5 grenades. After hearing some mechanical noise coming from inside the machine, you're eventually rewarded with 5 biocide grenades, ready to be used. Because you doubt you'll be able to make more, you think you should hold on to these for the time when you really need them. But well, they warned you. Mutagen scanner operational. Scan. No items detected. Okay, one mutagen at a time. Let's reset my thing real quick. Also, there's a door right there. And then we'll scan all the mutagens, then I'll probably call it an episode after that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, so one mutagen container at a time. Scan. So do I have to remember these? It looks like I have to remember these. This is not changing the description. So that might be something I have to write down. I might have to do that off camera. We'll wait and see. I don't know what any of that means right now. So hopefully I figure that out in the future. Let's just check this out real quick. I think we have a little bit of time. This area is much larger than I was anticipating, which is likely the case. We're on a little low in lockpicks. I mean, I have plenty of uh, Mark IIs and Mark Threes, but still. Don't need any of that. The 
the lock and handle are welded into a single thingy. Mass. Well, I turned something off. Holographic figurine, which we've already found. Computer console. Tithonus Lab main console. Warning, Tithonus Lab is running on auxiliary power. Estimated power on time remaining, 246 years, 97 days. Please select one of the following options. Suspension cell status. Individual suspension cell status. Mir Alamalik. Warning, LM sensor data unavailable. All the LM sensor data is unavailable. So let's just read all their names. Ramir Al-Malik, uh, Blagomir Radic, Harold Zimmer, Sandy Kester, Hans Jung, or Jung, Brandon Hoffman, Takao Oshiro, uh, Jeanette Wilson, Charles Oldershaw, Tobias Steiger, and Eldith Gervas. Brandon Hoffman, what is that name from? So I think I knew I know a Brandon Hoffman in real life. Switch off life support to all suspension cells. Please insert your ID card to begin security credential authorization. Insert was Wasai Abdul's ID card. Authenticating. Card ID WSHG0909. Dr. Wasi Abdul. Security clearance level 7. Authorizing. Access granted. This action will initiate procedures RELB and RELF which will prepare all subjects for release from their suspension cells. Date, time, and names of all active personnel, as well as results of the procedure will be automatically recorded in the event log. Are you sure you wish, are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. The screen begins glitching out as the console loses power. This is later the screen goes blank and console shuts down. I wanted to read, shoot, let's load, because I wanted to read the uh, thingy real quick. So let's blow through this again real fast. So I wanted to read the uh, Project EOS thing. Didn't realize I was going to get locked out of the computer for doing that. Should have done better though. I should have quick save before I activated the, uh, the thing. Alright, Project EOS, uh, Project Reports, Error 10, Connection to HECDB Failed, uh, Tithonus Lab Personnel List, Chief of Psionic Research and Development, BCSDS, Dr. John Dyson, Chief of Psyneurology, BCSDS, Dr. Wasi Abdul, Dr. Heiko Na, Dr. Robin Marlick, Dr. Marco Higgs, Dr. Peter Morlin, Dr. Savo Dragak, or Dragic? Melina Johnson, Arco Sue, Tobias Steiger, Ian Slaughter. Or Ian Slaughter. Okay. So that is everything there, right? Okay. Alright, let's check it out real quick. It's a quick save. I don't know what's going to happen when I go in here. Oh, probably going to get attacked. By Sandy. Can I kill Sandy? Nope. Only 40 health. So maybe I shouldn't have done this? I don't know. I can't do anything about it. her. I might call the episode here and then the next episode figure this out. Because having to navigate with her attacking me might not pan out. So let's just, uh... Oh, whoa, okay. They are all over the place, it turns out. There's another one over there. Alright, I'm gonna call it here, and in the next episode we'll deal with these doppelgangers. I... There's nothing I can do, I can't hurt doppelgangers. I might be able to hurt them with the Ethereal Torch. Nope, he resisted. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, let's reload one more time. Then I'm gonna go hide. And then we're gonna call it an episode, and in the next one we'll deal with this.
anyway thanks for watching hope to see you guys in the next one